our local community. And uh, Lisa has been involved with Access Tucson for several years. Beginning Just a time. beginning of time, <laughs> which for her that makes you about 23. <laughs> so uh, everyone, please give a warm welcome to Lisa. Thank you, friends. It's uh, this is really like a second home for Access Tucson. Access Tucson and Fossa have always intertwined our paths, being. Uh, concerned with community media, being concerned with art and filmmaking. Uh, so it's it's really a, a good natural partnership. And I want to thank Eric for uh, really jump-starting that relationship uh, when he came on as, as board president. We started discussing uh, ways that our paths could continue to, uh, to cross and build I look forward to working with Rosie and y'all on, on making that happen. Uh, we have always been a volunteer-centric organization. Who, who here has no clue what Access Tucson is? So that's, that's excellent. Sebastian. <laughs> I, I, I know what Sebastian's role is in, in my life. Uh, so that's good. So that's that's obviously uh, part of our mission fulfilled. Uh, there's there's some community awareness that needs to increase in a big way. In in many ways, uh, we are still one of the best kept secrets of, of Tucson uh, in terms of being a resource. It has been uh, an incredibly difficult uh, last couple of years for for that organization for Access Tucson. So we have managed to kind of come through, I think, the, the, the most difficult part of the storm, I'm, I'm hoping, uh, and, and really start the process of reinvention. And so tonight, uh, when Rosie asked me to come, it's like, well, I'll certainly let you know where we are and, and uh, what the board is talking about, uh, what our membership is, is doing and focusing on. But I truly am interested in hearing from this group and we, we did a survey oh, uh, about a year ago on what is a vital uh, community media center? What are those components? And this is a, a unique group to answer that question. Uh, we certainly heard from some of our viewers uh, who are, I think, an important part that often get overlooked because we're in the facility, we're doing things, we're in touch with each other. Uh, so that's an important group to listen to. Uh, then, of course, producers, and, and really our, our mission, the three things we do, uh, I think the best, are media education. Uh, when people say to me, well, really sorry, like the internet made you obsolete, kind of, that YouTube wiped you out, I say, well, you know, when's the last time YouTube taught your kid about uh, camera angles, about what the psychology behind uh, creating media is, what's, what's going on. So I think a brick and mortar place where we can get together, where we can share ideas, uh, just like this gathering tonight, it's really important uh, that, that we get together as a community and share ideas. And there's, there's still a huge value in that one-on-one -on -one, uh, personal interaction. Uh, but tonight I do want to hear from this group about that question, what makes the great components of a community media center? So media education, big part that I think we can really share. I know Fred has, has done uh, work in our facility uh, with the school district teaching. Uh, we would like to see that expand and, and welcome that. Uh, you guys are doing some great efforts in terms of teaching. Uh, so what else do we do? Distribution. So television, not quite dead, right? Um, I still go home and turn on a TV. I don't sit in front of my computer. Of course, that's the direction everything is, is going. And um, thank you for bringing up our, uh, this, is, this is soon to be the old website, which I'm really happy to say. So, uh, because it's, it's, not, it's, it's not performing in, in functionality the way it should. So, we need to see uh, on-demand uh, programming, so at least people's most recent work would be uh, available in an archive on, on our website. 
it would, just like the AFASA site, uh, so yet another place to, another damn place to log in, but you would have a user account that you can maintain your own profile. Um, so again, that, that level of sharing that can happen, uh, again, and we'll, we'll talk about how we might make that easier for our membership that inhabits both places. Uh, so that's, again, why it's good that we're, we work together as, as two organizations. Uh, but that's something, distribution, uh, and again, still important on those cable channels. It's a huge reach. It's about 220,000 uh, households across not only Tucson, but in the Oro Valley, uh, out in the county, of course, um, some in Green Valley. Uh, coming up this year, I'm meeting with, with uh, Kelly Maslin at Comcast to see what our evolution with that media partner will be. Um, so that's something to look forward to, but certainly improving that distribution, um, improving how your, how we can aggregate community media in one place. Um, so that's something that we would like to do and, and certainly showcase work. And I, I would love to see, absolutely, you're going to give me the AFASA uh, promo that, that ran tonight. We want to see your work on our channels. This is the place for it. This is the place for independent media to really get out and connect with the community, not only via the internet, but again, there's some people that are just left out of that whole digital media equation. And that's another reason why we exist, uh, to bridge that gap, uh, to make those resources available to people who don't, just don't have them. And it's, it's easy to forget that still about 30% of Pima County, and this is mostly in, in some of the more rural areas, but have zip in terms of, of uh, internet access, uh, tools and broadband. Uh, it's really difficult, even where I live. Uh, satellite internet, really a, a bummer. So it's, it's uh, uh, something, again, that, that we're looking to, uh, to improve. There's a ton of ways to be involved with Access Tucson. A lot of you are, are producers. Um, many have been actors in some of the projects that have run through uh, our facility uh, and writers and creative content people. So uh, that's absolutely a place to connect. And, and we also are a resource just in terms of, of being that brick and mortar facility. Uh, we have a conference room that you can utilize for casting, for meetings, uh, whatever. Uh, we're certainly looking to improve our hours of operation um, to meet schedules better. FASA used to meet in our, our facility on a regular basis on their monthly meetings, and uh, when everything was in disarray, we were not able to house that anymore. Love to see that come back. Um, this is a great place, too, and to uh, connect with your, lo your local government, because that's who's making the decisions about funding and really the prolonged life of, of community media. We're in that process now of looking forward with uh, the city of Tucson in terms of their budget and what that means for community media. Um, we saw about 75% of our budget evaporate in a year and a half. So that was, that was really a difficult blow to just imagine that in your own life, like just deal with 75% less tomorrow, like starting now. Uh, that was uh, a real <coughs> difficulty, uh, and as you know, all these tools, expensive, but great if we can be a community clearinghouse for some of these expensive tools that we can all share. So if we all buy in a little and can all share a little, um, that is certainly a goal, is improve tools for, for the coming year, and you'll, you'll see more information about that. Um, so media education, uh, distribution, and of, of course tools. So uh, definitely uh, no formatting here, just uh, as you think of things. So I, I would just ask people to share. So Jean-Pierre, I'm going to pick on him because he's right here. And he also is, uh, I'll slip you the three bucks later for getting in that plug. That was excellent. Uh, but, but you said it changed your life. That's a pretty strong statement, uh, and not one that I have not heard before, which is, which is great. Uh, but if you could just share, and if you need a, uh, a mic, I can walk around or come up here. But I, I would like to hear just how you've utilized Access Tucson, and maybe that will start uh, a dialogue. I'd rather have a dialogue tonight just about how can we work together 
to, you're building an organization that is going to really focus on film and that creative industry and moving <coughs> forward uh, through the people. And again, uh, we don't wait for people who uh, you know, are really organizers at a, a, a larger scale. Certainly we don't wait for the state to improve the film industry in uh, Arizona. Uh, it will come from groups like this. And so being aligned. So jump here, uh, if you would just share your story. So if you want to do this, again, it's free. It's free to you to use. Uh, that's absolutely available to you. If you want to be the great guy or gal that is the uh, media person that helps out uh, FAIR, the people that, you know, an animal rights organization or whatever, you want to be that media person, excellent. That's always going to be true. Well, uh, for right now, for sure, all it will be true that the individual access is free. Only when an organization says, I don't have time to coordinate with your volunteers or people who use your facility. I don't want to learn anything technical. I just want to get this done. Just can you do a PSA? Can we be on your talk show? We just want to get it done. Then you're asking the organization to do something, and that's when a cost uh, comes in. Did that answer your question? It did. Okay. So there's like four minutes left. I, again, what, what are your thoughts about what would you like to see as an AFASA member that you could come down to Access Tucson and have available to you? IDEF cameras. IDEF cameras. Okay, it's on the list for sure. Just, oh, yeah. Do, are, are you able to take a drawing and make it a cartoon? Are we, able to uh, we do have an animation class. I, I like that it was for kids. Now it's adult animation, which is kind of fun. So. But not adult adults. And it's, it's a program that's available in, in our media lab. So the answer is you could take the drawing and make it all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm right, I'm right in the It's the do-it-yourself shop, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, discount, yeah. for cla uh, discount on classes for uh, unemployed yeah. IFASA members. Excellent. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> for students. Uh -huh. I actually have a quick question. Mm -hmm. What is the censorship level for programming on public access? So, so you are the censor. So we do not screen any programming. We put it on you. Didn't you usually put it on we ask that if you have adult content in your program, that you run it late at night. And, and there is, uh, which has never been enacted, there's a committee that would review your program if you said, I really need that full dorsal nudity at 6 p.m. in the evening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, full dorsal. Full dorsal, full dorsal yes. So, my dolphin, man. My dolphin. Right. Yes, I haven't seen it. Uh, Lisa, is there any chance maybe some experienced IFASA members could be mentoring people working in access? I would love it. I would love it, and I, uh, so we offer uh, internships with school affiliation or without it, and uh, uh, certainly we tally all those, those volunteer hours. I would come up with something that would make it worth your while, like access off hours to equipment, things like that, and that's what I've done for some of our interns. You have bulky things like set pieces or lots of apple boxes you want to use. Can they be kept down here? Not really. So, and especially because we have uh, roommates now. So the city of Tucson moved in with us uh, back in in May, and we are. Somebody said, "Yeah, how's that whole putting the head on of the cat on the giraffe going?" <laughs> and uh, it's going actually quite well because we really were just roommates at this stage, and so, and we have different schedules. So, and, you know, they don't leave, like, the last little bit of milk in the carton. They're pretty good that way, so it's working out pretty well. There's a question back there. Yeah, well, uh, I get you got a lot of great people down there in Access Tucson. There's a lot of great people here. I think we can get them all together and have a big party. Absolutely. So I would invite you to, let's do a mixer at Access Tucson. Um, we'll tape it all and put it out there, you know, and incriminate everyone. <laughs> so absolutely, and, and we'll definitely be in discussion. I, I think education uh, and you know certainly networking and, and sharing resources. That's it's huge. This is this is a group that has 
Uh, really some great information to share. Just one more little question. Sure. Uh -huh. The new council. Mm -hmm. How are they compared to the, the old new? council? Yeah, well, you know, mayor. Yeah, and yeah. It's a new mayor. So, uh, it, you know, it's funny, and we're in Steve's house, but uh, every time there's a Democratic council, things just go like horribly wrong for, for us. But this, this council has been uh, very supportive, uh, truly, and they showed it. So, uh, I mean, we were targeted for elimination completely. Uh, in fact, we taped a meeting in this room where the core tax committee said, get rid of the city channel, get rid of access to the sign. And you know, and save. I mean, so their budget is about six hundred thousand dollars. Ours is about three hundred thousand dollars. So not even a mill, you know. And you're killing really the city's information vehicle. And the I would like to see a little more equal platform for the community. But at least we have a voice. We have a place. And I think uh, you had a question first, Fred. Yeah, for those who members that might be really experienced in the craft and it's something that. And see that how is a transition of taking your craft experience and being able to go and step into membership and try to deal with the getting signed off or getting checked off on all the technical aspects that a person has to go through and test and sure. clarify. Sure. <laughs> pretty pretty simple, you talk to me and and we just have a chat about so what have you been using? What, what is equivalent? What's not? The one area that I rarely wave stuff is, is uh, studio, just because studios can be so different because it's so many components. So it's what switcher you've used, what audio mixer you've used, what cameras you've used, what CCUs. So uh, other than that, though, uh, probably you know anything. And, and for you, Fred, you just walk in. Aww. You own the place. There's one more back there. And I'll shut up. Yeah, the, I see. I hear a lot of familiarity or similarity between some of your goals and the community library. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about really having any opportunity to partner with them? We we have and do. So we have in the past, and we will this summer with a. They're trying to really develop a youth community media center. So we're absolutely in partnership and sharing goals and hopefully <coughs> software licensing, which is hugely expensive, as we all know. I met Jonathan Rothschild at a uh, fundraising thing for him for mm -hmm. his uh, run, and I specifically asked him about uh, what he want, was he interested in entertainment arts and uh, public access, mm -hmm. and he said he was very interested in keeping that going and alive. So even though he's a Democrat, I would say no, no, no. It's and, and with a brush of ab readings. absolutely. It's just funny. You would think that's you know he, he would be very positively. He absolutely is, and I've met with him, and I'm meeting with him at the end of this month again. And absolutely, he's he's supportive of not only community access, but but developing the city channel and really making it serve the community. So, all right. Well, I really hope to see you all in my doors. And not far from there. So please grab one. My cell phone is on there. I am very accessible and uh, and happy to help you negotiate anything about getting into the community media process you need. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you. Thank you so much. There's no reason why none of us or all of us shouldn't be down there and members of Access Tucson. They give everything away and it's all the tools that we need. So absolutely, I strongly recommend everybody to check it out. Okay, we are just about done with the yak and yak part of it. Um, we do want to, I will, we will be handing out the surveys and um, also the evaluations. Please take a few minutes to fill those out. And um, actually, Jenna, will tell us.